Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and this is Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text and we tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree. Now this is for the 10th Sunday after Pentecost. We're looking at the Gospel lesson, John uh, chapter 6 for the Revised Common Lectionary. And for the next couple of weeks, the Gospel lesson has to do with the bread of life. So we're going to be moving into Ephesians and that in the next couple of weeks. But if uh, at some point you want to do something on the bread of life, this might work. Uh, I am using, um, I haven't opened them up yet, but I'm using paper bags, sacks, lunch sacks. You know, the kind that you carry a... Um, you carry a sandwich in, and you could put a sandwich in there if you'd like, uh, but talking about the bread of life, talking about how, oh, I'm so hungry, these are the things, and um, and then I'm, uh, still, this is a springboard idea for myself as well, but talking about all of the things, when we talk about I'm hungry for, all the things I hunger for, um, you know, it's like I want things that I, um, Oh, whether it be like, oh, uh, you know, I want the newest technology or something like that. Um, but that there are things in our life that that promise to fulfill, promise to um, make us uh, better, uh, make us feel better, and they all leave us um, hungry. They all leave us wanting more. And Jesus is the bread of life. Jesus. Um, fulfills our needs and Jesus comes into our lives and it's there. Um, gonna have to bring it down a couple, bring it down a level and talking about uh, paper sacks and about how if I eat a sandwich and I'm, I eat a sandwich and I don't have to eat again for the entire day because this one sandwich is gonna make me uh, not hungry, it's gonna take care of all of my uh, needs. No, that's not right. Uh, I'm gonna be hungry again. I'm gonna need something again. And, um, and Jesus promises to be the bread of life that, that um, w with Jesus we'll, we'll never be hungry. We'll be physically hungry, um, but uh, Jesus is with us. Anyway, uh, as you can tell, it should be an interesting children's sermon. Uh, use this as a springboard uh, to talk to your kids about um, what are the ways that they might help meet other people's needs. That if we as people of God, if we are the body of Christ, if we come together and you and I make up this thing we call the church, uh, then how do we help Jesus meet the needs of other people? That's um, uh, one saying, and I wouldn't use this in a children's sermon, but uh, one saying I heard, which I really enjoy, is that we might be the only Bible that some people ever read. And that uh, our actions and how we treat one another and how we... Uh, help Jesus be the bread of life in the world uh, can say more than any uh, scripture could say. So anyway, there we go. Uh, hope something in there might uh, spark an idea. Um, you know, a paper sack, a little container that you use, a, that you put in a sandwich in, um, something, uh, maybe make fresh baked bread and uh, give it to the kids, uh, give a slice to the kids and the uh, tactile stuff. So anyway, uh, there we go. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I uh, hope you have a blessed week and uh, as always.